You're watching CBS 5 News. Straightforward reporting, no spin, telling it like it is. Scared the you know what out of me. What our investigators found in this Pinal County cave shook them up. CBS 5 is the only station in the valley to send a crew to find the caves where drug cartels are hiding. And tonight, we're taking you inside for an exclusive look. That's right, CBS 5's Tammy Leitner kicks off our team coverage. Catherine, this assignment was dirty and dangerous, but it was actually pretty amazing how many different caves and bunkers were hidden along the mountainside and obviously being used by drug smugglers. Morgan? Tammy, here's the U.S. border with Mexico. These caves are located in a desert and mountain range about halfway between Mexico and Phoenix. It's a strategic location for drug and human smuggling. The peak is 2,500 feet above sea level, sticking straight up in the middle of the flat desert. It's a perfect lookout spot. We've got power. We're getting ready for a rugged and dangerous climb. I got my snake guards on. I hope they actually help. It's not just smugglers we're concerned about. It's also the heat, the terrain, and the rattlesnakes. This time of year, just hiking through the Arizona desert is a challenge in itself. According to the Sheriff's Department and residents out here, the cave is somewhere up that face. And we're going to try and get up there before it gets dark. Once we start the climb, the air temperature and steep grade have an immediate effect. This is tough. How are you feeling? I'd like to think I'm in shape, but this is tough. I mean, imagine being out here in the dark. There's got to be a reason for them to be up here. As we climb higher, we begin to see garbage, a sure sign that someone's been here before and not just passing through. An hour after leaving the vehicle, we find what we're looking for. Right down here. Found it? This is one of the spots. What makes you so certain? Take a look. It's part of a network of caves and bunkers apparently used by drug cartel scouts. This is incredible. There's so much food and garbage and blankets. They were protected from the elements with the tarps, probably. Sleeping bag to stay warm. So I'm guessing what they did was they would get down here Nobody can see them over this wall here, yet they can see all the way out there. They can see anybody driving by, walking up. You can definitely see why they chose this spot. Anyone standing here would be able to see the Border Patrol or authorities coming from the roads in that direction. They could also guide in their shipments of drugs from Mexico. The sun is already setting and the long shadow created by the mountain is getting even longer. That means we need to start thinking about hiking down. I'm taking pictures when something ominous catches my eye. Take a look at this. Shell casing from a bullet. Ooh, not a good sign. It's a reminder that the people who were living here were dangerous. But before we head back down, I want to see if there's anything we missed. So I hike ahead by myself. I'm following a trail. If you can call it a trail. My camera captures what happens next. I've run face to face into someone hiding in another cave. Uh, can you bring the camera up here? Yep. Is he a smuggler? We don't know, but he agrees to talk to us on camera as long as we hide his face. Do you know that the sheriff's office raided this very mountain just a few days ago? No. Because they were saying that drug smugglers were hiding out up here. <laughs> if you don't know, how should I, why should I stay here? You've got a cell phone and a battery there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they I tell us that that's what drug smugglers use. Oh, no. Is that? Oh, no, that's my Mexican, I got a, I got a Mexican phone. He tells us he's been crossing the desert heading for Phoenix, uh, yes, then Sacramento. And uh, I thought it would be easy, but uh, yes, I, I took the run, the run summertime. <laughs> This is too hot. After the interview, we stopped to get our bearings. And the first thing I thought was, oh no, this is a smuggler and we're dead. Yeah, I think you're right. But you know, this does tell us one thing. This is a very active spot. Even after Sheriff Sipity showed up here, two days later, there's somebody up here. As we head down the mountain, now in the dark, we suspect we've just interviewed a smuggler. 
We feel lucky to be getting down this mountain at all. What we saw up there really shows how the smugglers are adapting their approaches. Absolutely, and in this case, they're using the rough terrain, the mountain and the caves to their advantage. The terrain just as dangerous as the situation out there. Is there any way to tell how long this has been used, this particular spot? Judging from the amount of garbage and the rust on the cans on the ground, I would say probably less than six months. Just incredible. All right, great job, you guys. Thanks. See